Hello, hi all. In this video, I will explain the latest updates and its consequences and the changes that we get in, a, in this semester which got affected due to COVID-19 effects. So there are majorly three important updates which every student must and should know. I know everybody of you might be waiting eagerly, very eager to know these updates from the university. So those three are, one is promotion to next academic year. That is nothing but promotion of every student from present to the next academic year. That means if you are in a first year, you will go to second year. So in order to get promoted into next year, you are supposed to uh, fulfill certain requirements, certain criteria. So what are they? What is actual criteria and what is the updated criteria? Similarly, the second aspect is examinations, dates and examinations, dates of examination. And third one is pattern of the question paper. Okay. And recently, JNTU uh, has issued a circular regarding extension of uh, lockdown. That is, the lockdown has extended in the state of Telangana till 29th May. So, accordingly, JNTU has released a circular dated 7 5 2020 in which it is stated that all the principals of, of the constituents and affiliated colleges and directors of all units are requested to observe the lockdown in their respective units till 29th May 2020, which means till 29th May 2020, there is no activities, there is no any teaching, learning or academic activities that will happen in any of the colleges that are affiliated to the JNTUH. So this circular is available in the JNTU website. You can see this. So that means definitely there is no chance of conducting any exam before 29th of May 2020. Okay. So then when the exams should be conducted or if conducted, what is the mode of examination, whether it is online or offline. So all those things we will discuss in this particular video. So the first is about promotion to next year. So a student, if, if a student needs to be promoted from one year to the other year, that is from the first to second, second to third, third to fourth. So he or she has to fulfill these two criteria. One is attendance criteria. Second is credits. Attendance, it will be based upon a regular present to the college. Okay. So generally, everybody knows that every student must have 75% of or above in order to appear for the examinations. So that is the attendance criteria. But due to this COVID effect, the attendance this time, there is no detention. It is informed that there is no detention because of the attendance and the attendance is given to all the students okay in the during this corona break so that's why this time there is no detention because of attendance for any of the years second one is credits credits is nothing but depends upon the subjects you are taking each subject or it may be theory or it may be practical it will consist of certain credits for example if it is a practical, it will have two credits. If it is a theory, it may consist of three or four credits. If you are, if you want to get promoted to the next semester, next year, basically, you have to, you have to supposed to earn some minimum credits according to the, which are given in the detailed syllabus book given by the JNTUH. Now, this time it is, it is decided that the credits, whatever the credits you have to get, that that is exempted that means even though if you write the exams if you fail to get the required number of credits that are mentioned in the jnt syllabus book then also you will be promoted to the next year but here you have to be very careful in understanding this point because for example if you are writing all semester your subject if you pass in everything you will get full credits that is always happy thing whereas if you fail in certain subjects if you fail to get some credits still also you can go to the next year but the problem is whatever the failed subjects what are the subjects that you are failed in this semester again you have to rewrite 
during in the next semesters or next years as a supplementary examinations remember without passing these subjects whatever you have failed in present semester so you will not going to get the btech degree so for final years there is no exemption you have to pass everything okay if you if you fail in any subjects definitely the university will not give you a degree so you have to pass in all the subjects that is for the final years so this is about promotion to next years next the dates of the examination so tentatively tentatively the exams for the final years will be uh, should, uh, will be conducted from june 15th as i told you the previous uh, circular uh, regarding the uh, this one okay lockdown extension so till 29 there is no any exam that is clear so that means definitely the exams will happen in june or after the june so that's why a tentative timetable says that uh, uh, for final year the exams will be conducted in from june 15 whereas for remaining years that is for first second and third years the exams will be conducted uh, in the month of july so remember i am again and again telling these are tentative the final schedules and the detailed timetables will be given by the university officially and they will put in the college notice boards and you will know officially the circulars will be get issued that is only tentative and this is based on the information that is gathered from various sources okay it is not the final okay if you have ideas such that because some students are thinking that there will be no exams no definitely the exams will be conducted got it so for example if the lockdown is extended till june 15 definitely it will go to last week of the june the exams will postpone to last week of the june so as and today the lockdown is 29th uh, uh, till 29th that's why uh, the tentative time for final year exams is they will start in june 15th probably whereas the remaining will be conducted in the month of july this is about the dates of the examination so once again i am telling you this is not final this is the tentative dates which we gathered from the various sources like various electronic media various uh, news channels that they are reporting okay next the third one most important thing is the question paper pattern the pattern of the question papers is like this the first point what you have to observe is the duration of the exams is reduced to two hours generally the exams will be conducted for three hours the question paper will be set for three hours so you are supposed to spend three hours of time to answer all the questions so but due to corona okay so they want to reduce the time of the total time that is from three hours to two hours so you will be sitting in an examination hall for each and every subject you will be going to spend almost two hours okay and the, these are the major changes in a question paper see you will be used to attempt 75 marks question paper whereas 25 will be for your internal evaluation and in part of 75 marks you you should you used to have two parts part a part b but this time part a it will be removed okay so part a will be removed completely and only part b is present in the question paper okay only part b is present in the question paper part b only consists of there is only single part there is no part a part b only one part the question paper will have and total one uh, part carries total 75 marks where you are supposed to write five questions each question carries 15 marks so 15 into 5 75 marks total uh, weightage will be 75 marks and you are supposed to answer five questions okay so 15 multiplied by 5 you will be going to get total 75 marks so there is no part a only part b will be present in that also you have to write there will be five questions asked and you have to support you are supposed to answer all the five questions so each question carries equal that is 15 marks 15 into 5 total 75 whereas 25 will be from your internal evaluation 75 plus 25 will be total 100 okay and in this there are several news that some some sources are telling that there will be increase in the choice that means instead of giving some uh, say five questions they may give eight questions or instead of giving eight questions there may be ten questions something like that that is not yet finalized nobody knows it till now but there is there is a myth okay there is a uh, like uh, some unofficial news that the chance choice number of questions uh, in choice may be increased we don't know or they may give five questions also you prepare such that 
you can answer five questions okay so that is the ultimate conclusion so you have you have to answer all the five questions and here one important observation you are supposed to make that is what could be the time to answer if the exam time is only 2 hours then you have to answer five questions which carries 15 marks equally that means total five that is 120 minutes divided by five that means each question you will be getting 24 minutes time only now you remove that four minutes for reading and understanding the question paper and how to present it that means within a 20 minutes you have to give appropriate answer which will give you which will fetch you 15 marks remember whereas in three hours time when you have three hours time the time to answer each question is almost equal to 30 minutes now here the time for uh, you spent for one question is decreased drastically that means you have to know the answer accurately and your understanding should be fast your writing your presentation should be very fast otherwise it is difficult to answer all the questions remember question paper wise if you think part a will be absent that is absolutely sure then the student will think that when out of two sections only one section is present that means the time is more no here the total time is also reduced okay so because of the total time reduction automatically the question each and every question only 24 minutes you are getting that means the net time available for each question including the other wastage that will be coming only up to 20 minutes that means you have to you are getting very less time to answer the question that means your preparation should be very 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 strong enough to understand the questions and to answer the questions within a stipulated time okay so these are the three major changes please subscribe our channel and please share it to your friends also okay and if you are having any queries regarding any issue then uh, please post it as a question we will respond to you definitely we will respond to you with a positive information at the earliest from our side so please share it please like it and subscribe our channel and please inform all the updates your friends so that everybody will get all the information so that they will prepare well and ultimately everybody will clear all the subjects and every student will be happy okay once again please i am requesting you all please subscribe our channel please promote this video and if you are having any specific questions if you are having any specific questions please write it mention it as a comment if anything is there we will review it we will try to present the very very positive information at the earliest to you thank you